look stunning. Thank I like it's you. our color. We went colorful. Yeah. Both of us today. I like it. Um, how are you? I'm so great now that I'm here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was you're a badass. I, that I, was. I don't know who that I, was. I was like, that's I'm <laughs> afraid. I'm afraid. <laughs> well, wait, the last time the last time your husband was on, well, one, I shared my disgusting Doritos thing um, that went viral apparently. But it's I like the cheese, not the chip, whatever. Um, <laughs> but he showed a video, he judged me for it too. Um, he showed me a video of your oldest um, talking like a ladies' man. So let's see this again. We're starting off at sauce number we go. one. <laughs> Shouldn't be too bad. Okay. What's up, ladies? <laughs> I think mean, he's wow. trouble. He's going to wow. be in trouble. What's up, ladies? He Is that, how's that going? He's, he's, <laughs> he has taken, he's taking a little bit of a sabbatical. From uh, from from the uh, crush having a crush world. Oh really? Yes, because the first crush he had, the second crush, and the third crush, they all ended up moving away. Oh no! Yeah, so he feels like he, he would say to me. I heard him like saying, he's like, you know, mom, what do you think it is about me that every time I get a crush on somebody, they move away? <laughs> and I was like, well, honey, I think it's just you know oh, bad, bad luck. And he was like, I think I should just take a break. I'm not gonna get a crush for a while. Oh, buddy. Oh, I my know. God. Really sad. Are you nervous about your kids? Your kids are teenagers, so are they dating? They're they... teenagers. If I say anything about any of this, uh, <laughs> they'll have me killed. Yes. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> um, so wait, you're open with your boys about when you and Sterling have disagreements, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people will tell you not to do that in front of your kids, but I love, because I read why y'all do it. I Can you tell everybody why you... Yes, I, I do it because of who my older kid is. He's a very intuitive, very empathetic kid, and he mm -hmm. picks up on a lot of things. And still waters run deep with that guy. Like, he'll take something, and he'll germinate, and he'll think about it, and he'll ruminate, and he'll make it into something that it's not. Mm -hmm. And if you don't give him the safety net, to ask questions and to get his like fears addressed, it can it can really veer into like really tough territory for him. Mm -hmm. And like I read somewhere that trauma is not the thing that happens to you. It's not having the space to discuss the thing that happened to you, mm -hmm. you know? And so I kind of feel with him that like, I just want him to know that he can ask me. Any and obviously it's age appropriate. You know, yeah. I don't talk to him like I talk to a girlfriend, but like, yeah. You know, I try to put things in such a way that he knows when I say you're safe, he can he can believe me when I say you're safe. Because, yeah. I, you know what I mean? I like that they also see y'all maybe disagree about something, but you work through it. Because a lot of times, you uh, you know, adults will disagree about something in the house, and then you'll go to your room, and then you'll figure it out. But the kids never got to see that. And so that is kind of interesting cause for relationships in the future, like to be able to work through that know-how. Right, and yeah. so to show people, because you can say compromise all you want to, but what does that mean to a, you know, that doesn't mean yeah. anything, you know, it no, has to be modeled. I'll tell you, it was, and it's a shock, like even with my divorce, like we never fought in front of our kids. We never did, we didn't really fight too often, but I just mean like we never did anything like that. And I think announcing a divorce to them was like, what? Yeah. Because yeah, we were yeah. so, because I saw, I think, too much as a kid, so mm -hmm. I didn't do any. I was like, no, 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 we're not going to do any of that in front of them. I don't want that baggage on them. But then it was kind of just a, as much of a shock, though, because I didn't say any, we didn't say anything, you know? Yeah. So that's, it's kind of hard to know which thing to do. I guess it depends on the child. But I love the lesson, it, though. I never heard parents really talk about that, and I think it's really cool for specific kids. Like, that's probably really helpful for to work through, and I'm going to take that advice and go home with it. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> so let's talk about your new show, though. It's called The End Game. So what's yeah. it about? Because you play a badass. I like it. You know, FBI agents are very specific people. And, you know, God love them. Because you have to put your country and your job pretty much before anything and, every, you know, mm -hmm. everybody else. And they do that for us. They do that to keep us safe. You know, the armed services, the CIA, the, the FBI. the sacrifice for the family has to be hard. It's hard. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. really hard for them, you know. And it's, 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 so it's an honor to be able to, like, go into that world. And obviously this is a heightened and explored version of that. You know, there's this, you know, I call her this sort of Carmen San Diego. Diego criminal oh mastermind. Oh my God, I love that you said Carmen Diego. <laughs> Where in the world is she? But, right, you know, she, yeah. she's, she's on our show. We yeah. found her. I love and uh, she's <laughs> lovely and she's on our show. And she's, you know, it's like, who's who's bad, who's not? Is, mm -hmm. is she bad, is she not? Is she like working for greater good? Is she only working for herself? And I'm the only one that actually has any intel on her. So I become the sort of centerpiece of for, this, yeah, of yeah. this investigation. So. That's so fun. What yeah. a cool show. It's a really cool yeah. show. Yeah.